not stay here in the sun. Welcome to the Vancouver side. I'm Jim Maines. This is Gary Bach. This is your video blog of everything north of the Columbia River. Today we're checking out the Clark County Heritage Farm. Now it's the Harvest Festival today, so the place is and we're going to be talking with the master gardeners, we're going to be talking with the farmers, we're going to be learning all about what goes on here at the Clark County Heritage Farm. This is my first time on a farm, so I'm jazzed. Is that a farm word? Jazzed? Let's go! I need to clean myself. Yes, don't it's you, dirty. You've got to be clean on a farm, don't you? Hey, look at that over here, Gary. Come here. Jim, that's a scarecrow. A what? Scarecrow scares away the crows? Oh. Well, they're so they don't eat your crops? Oh, I gotcha. That's still it's pretty not cool. A person. I thought they were giving away dead people, but I guess they're scarecrows. Cool. Who gives away dead oh, people? Oh, Gary, look over there. Come here. Tell us a little bit about the harvest state. How's it going for you? It's going great, man. I love it. And we've been here the last three years. Do the corn shucking contest and stuff like that. And go see the emus over here. My buddy owns them in Kalama and stuff. Wow. The 4 H club. It's just good education for the kids and everything. Awesome. Hey, well, thank you. What's your name? My name is Charles. Charles. Hey, thanks, Charles. No problem. Great. Have a good day. Hey. So there's just tons of groups down at this event. The Master Gardeners, 4-H, the Watershed Stewards, the Farm Bureau, everybody that has anything to do with farming and gene genealogy is down here at the Heritage Farm. It's a great day for every... Gary, Gary, I think I found those emooks. The emus? Emus. Emus. I think I found them. Come on, I'll show you. Come here, come here. All right. Emus. The emus. The emu. Yeah, look at them. Oh, look, there's even a dog with them. Jim, those are goats. Oh. Goats, Jim. That's not an emu. An emu is a giant bird. Looks like an ostrich with fluffy feathers. All right, well. Oh, what? Where do they get these like basketballs that grow? They they grow basketballs on the farm. Look at there, these orange things. Jim, those are pumpkins. Halloween pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. Awesome. Hey, I'm they gonna go play grow. With them. Hi, my name is Kay Sears, and I'm here to help the community uh, at the Harvest Festival. And we're cleaning pumpkins for the kids so that they can have an opportunity to take them home and, and paint them and have something for them. It's fun to do for the family. Gary, check it out. Baby horses. What? I've never seen a baby horse. Have you guys seen these baby horses? Are they cool? Jim. These are llamas? Llamas? Llamas. And they're from Peru. They're pack animals. They are very valued for their fur. Llamas and alpacas from the same area. They're more like camels than horses. Who could I talk to about getting a few? CC would love them. I don't think you can keep them in your backyard in town, Jim. No, I keep it inside. They keep me warm at night. All right, so I'm here with Nancy Funk from the Clark County Master Gardeners. What are the Master Gardeners doing at the Heritage Farm? Well, actually, we're the Master Gardener Foundation of Clark County, and we um, uh, lease the, uh, the greenhouses here from the county. And what we do is we're a nonprofit, and we support a lot of organizations in Clark County. So we'll have plant sales like we're having today. We're selling uh, seedlings and herbs and all types of plants. And the money all goes back into um, different organizations and horticulture in Clark County. Different schools, Second Step Housing, um, the 4-H Restorative Justice, and a lot of different organizations. We're also doing, um, we have supported the kids making uh, bird feeders with um, uh, pine cones and peanut butter and seeds. So we're helping the kids do that over here, and they take them home and they can hang them in their trees and feed the birds. So we've got plants for them, and they can grow um, to eat and feed the birds and things like that. Very nice. And everybody with the foundation is a volunteer? Correct. We're all volunteers, and we had quite a few people here today volunteering. We were doing the parking in the parking lot. We, we had about 500 cars up in that one parking lot earlier today. So a lot of people here today. I'll say. Thanks so much for everything you Thank do. Thank you. Welcome to the Heritage Farm. This is a day where, the first of all, the Heritage Farm is county owned. It used to be owned by WSU. And this used to be, even before that, started out as Anderson Dairy Farm. They lost the farm, then it went to become a poor farm. And the county ran this poor farm for many years. Then WSU 
I use it for a research station and about eight years ago the county took it over and now we're partners with WSU for research and in community use. We take one day of really bringing everybody out in connection with the North uh, the County Historical uh, Museum and Society. They have a big event here. They do scarecrows, pumpkins, different things you'll see. And we really try and, and show the farm off. How do you see our mom? Gary, I didn't realize this was a religious event. There's okay. Greek Orthodox crosses all over the place. Jim? Those are the frames they build scarecrows from? That's not a cross. Oh, silly me. It builds a scarecrow. It's clear. Ooh, I needed a new pair. Those are you. This totally fits. You should go with that. So when you go to a farm, they give away clothes, free clothes? I think they're actually for the scarecrows. I wouldn't let anybody see you with that. So what are you guys doing in this line? Um, we're waiting, waiting for the for tractor. tractor. It's, I can't wait for it to come. Oh, cool. This is the tractor line? Yeah. Hey, Gary, come on. Let's get oh, right. Oh, no. We can't cut in the front. We're not cutting, are we? No. Technically. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, what's your name? Do Manuel. Manuel. What's your name? Tyler. Have you guys been to the uh, Harvest Fun Day before? No, this no. is our first time. It's really fun. Having a lot of fun? Yeah. Have you guys seen any cool stuff? Yeah. We saw yeah. the, we, um, I, I made a pumpkin in here. Cool. And, um, we we're gonna make scarecrows when we get home. Come nice. on, we got some of that stuff. What are you doing down here at the Heritage Festival? I'm on the board for the Clark County Historic Museum and we're selling lunches. Hot corn from BZ Farms, great gala apples from Joe's Farm. Foster Farms sold us the corn, or the, the hot dogs that are chicken, actually. We got water from Corwin Beverage and then ice cream. You can't go wrong with that. $5 ice lunch, cream. what a great deal. Can't go wrong with can't that. Can't go wrong with that. Are you having fun? Today? Oh my gosh, are we lucky or what? Look at this weather. We probably have had 4,000 people out here. That is brilliant. <laughs> and there's Thanks. more still to come. Absolutely. It's gonna Absolutely. be a great. Check it out. They're filming a Budweiser commercial. Look, they shipped Bud in those horses. I mean, that's amazing. They're here in Vancouver. Jim, Budweiser is not the only place that has draft horses. A draft horse? They're pulling plows, Jim. This is the way they farmed for hundreds of years. They use horses to wow. pull the plows. Those horses are old. A hundred year old horse? That's ancient. Jim, they're not hundred year old horses. This is just the way they farmed. Generations and generations of people and horses farming together. Wow. You know, I have to say, I've learned so much about farms today. This blows my mind. It's actually kind of mind-boggling, if you know what I mean. I'll say. Well, I don't really get out on the farms. I've learned about pumpkins, scarecrows, the innards of scarecrows. I learned about the line to the wagon rides. That's amazing. Wagon rides. You know, for a guy who's in charge of the farmer's market, you don't know much about the farms themselves, do you? That's a good point. You should try getting north of 39th Street once in a while. You might find some interesting things out about Clark County, Jim. Hey, that's a good... Oh my gosh, I think I find those emus. What is wrong with him today? Well, thanks for joining us on the Vancouver side. I'm Gary Bach, and I think that was Jim Maines. We'll see you next time on the video blog for everything north of the Columbia River. Your scarecrow. Okay, me and Daddy built it. Me and Daddy built it. What does he have a name? Yeah. His name's Daddy. What? what about the scarecrow? What's his name? What's the scarecrow's name? Huh? Hey, Nico. Nico. Nico? Okay. That's a cool name.